Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Mathlog, and this lesson is uh, area of combined rectangles. Okay, so here's our, our common core strand for our, our most uh, grooviest teachers here. And our question is, how, how can we break apart a shape to find the area? Okay, so here we go. So um, that, remember uh, the distributive property? Um, and here I'm going to use a 3x3 three three array right here. So 3x3 three three gives us 9 squares. So if we count these, here's 1, 2, 3, and then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 9 squares, or 3 times 3 equals 9 squares. Well, what we can do is we can break this up by making it a 3x2 a and a 3x1. There's still 9 squares. Okay, we just broke it up this way, and that's today's lesson. Um, we're still going to get the same amount of uh, squares right here, which is, let me go back, I clicked too much right there. So so the, the original 3x3 three three square, 3x3 three three square is the same as 3x2 plus 1 square right there okay and that's what we're going to do we're, gonna, we're not going to have nice squares or nice rectangles we're going to have combined things so that's it that's what we're going to do is cut them up right here all right so let's um uh, let's use this rectangle right here dan's rug has uh sides of four feet and nine feet what's the area of dan's rug okay so what the uh, our, our textbook is is asking is to draw a four by nine rectangle on this grid right here so here's Here's four squares by nine squares. Now what we can do is count up the squares right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, there's another nine right here, which gives us 18. There's another nine right here. 18 plus nine is 27. And then another nine right here, 27 plus nine. There's 36 squares right here. But So the area of Dan's rug is... 36 square feet okay remember area is always in square units okay so let's but they're asking us to draw a vertical line to break the part the model and to make two smaller rectangles okay so look we can break the line anywhere i can a vertical line is up and down so i can draw a line right here or a line right here or a line right here or right here or right here it doesn't matter i think i drew a line right there okay so so what I did is I made uh, so now so now this is um, this is going to be four by three squares and this is four also because that's four so this is going to be four by one two three four five six squares okay remember three plus six equals nine right there okay so uh, um, uh, the side length of nine is broken into three plus six here okay you could have chosen the other methods that we did in fact we'll talk about that in just a bit so find the area of the two smaller rectangles okay so the area of this rectangle is going to be four by three or four times three okay so if we do that right there we get uh, we get 12 and then the area of this rectangle is going to be four by six okay so here we have a rectangle four by three and this rectangle is four by six so when we multiply four times three we get 12 and four times six is just twice of what four times three is because six is twice of three so four times four times six gives us that 24 right there okay so let's just slide that up all right so so now we can add the products okay products means the answer to the multiplication so we can add four times three which is 12 so we'll put in 12 right here and we can add four plus six which is 24 and we'll get 24 right here so we get um, uh, 12 plus 24, which is 36, because there's 36 squares. So check your answer by counting the number of squares. Okay, so we did that earlier. There's 36 square feet, so our, our answer is correct. We know it's 36, okay? All right, and then, um, uh, so Dan's uh, area of his rug is going to be 36 square feet. Remember, square feet is always... Um, uh, represented uh, anything area is always represented you see that word area always end it in square feet now later when you get in higher in mathematics you probably write answers like this 36 um, sorry about the, the font color right there and then they would probably do feet squared and then so so you do that right there so that all says the same thing right there okay so 36 square feet just means square feet just an abbreviation 
36 square feet or 36 feet squared, okay? Either one is okay. All right, and later when you get into high, higher math, you guys will write it that, that last way we just did. So now, uh, did you draw a line in the same place as your classmates? Okay, so right now we're on the coronavirus shutdown, so, so we're not in class. So if you were thinking of drawing a line in some other place, here's the one that we drew in this example, but somebody could have drawn this one right here. They could have just uh, draw the vertical line right there, and then we would have had a 4x4 four four square and then a 4x5 square. square. Or you could have done just moved it over one place, and you could have had a uh, a four by five square with a four by four square, or we, we even could have done it uh, right there a four by two and a four by seven, or a four by one and a four by eight. So, explain why, uh, if, if you're in the class, why everybody found the same answer. Well, because they all came from the same four by nine rug, so they all have to have the same area, so which was 30, uh, 36 on, on all of those 36 square feet. Okay. All right, so using the distributive property, we found that we could break apart rectangles into smaller rectangles and add the area of each smaller rectangle to find the total area. Okay, so you're going to see a figure that looks not a rectangle right here. So how can we break this shape up into smaller rectangles? There's a couple of correct ways to do this. Let's see, I'm thinking of two. There's others, but the two most prominent are this one right here. We can draw that horizontal line right there, and when we draw the horizontal line, there's two rectangles right here. We've got a, a top rectangle, which is 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 3 times 7 gets us 21 right there. And then the bottom rectangle is 3 by 3. So 3 times 3 is going to get us 9. So if we add those together right there, so 21 plus 9 gets us 30. So the area of that entire figure is going to be 30 square units. Okay, here's another way right here. We can draw a vertical line. Instead of drawing the horizontal line, we can draw a vertical line. So we have these two little rectangles right here. We have this rectangle and this rectangle. This rectangle is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 3. And this rectangle is 3 by 4. Okay, so what we can do is um, uh, do the same process. We're going to get the same area because it's the same figure right there. So 6 times 3 is 18. And then the second little rectangle is 3 by 4, which is 12. And when we add those together, we get 30 square units. So the entire area is 30 square units. Okay, so that leads us to this question. Uh, how can we check that our answer is correct? Okay, so here's the first way. We've got 30 square units by doing the that horizontal line right there. Here when we did uh, the vertical line, we still got 30 square units, so both methods gave us the same answer of 30 square units. All right, you guys, I hope that lesson was helpful, and take care.